Good morning, everybody. My name is Robin, and I am Katahdin Cooking Mama's Homestead. And I'm doing a Bible study, and I'm doing it in the book of Luke. I'm reading chapter 1. It is Sunday, um, July 16th, 2023, and it is 12 o'clock noon. So, let's get started. For so much as many have taken in hand to set forth and order a decoration of those things which are most surely believed among us, even if they delivered them unto us from the beginning, were eyewitnesses and ministers of the word. It seemed good to me also, having had perfect understanding of all things from the very first, to write unto thee in order. Most excellent Thydarus, which thou mightest know the certainty of those things wherein thou hast been instructed. There was in the days of Herod the king of Judea a certain priest named Zacharias of the course of Abia, and his wife was the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth, and they were both righteous before God, walking in all the commandments and all the ordainments of the Lord blamelessless. And they had no children because Elizabeth was barren, and both were now were stricken in years. And it came to pass that while in, he executed the priest's office before God in the order of his course, according to the custom of their priest's office, his lot was to burn incense when he went into the temple of the Lord. And the whole multitude of the people were praying without the time of incense. And they appeared unto them an angel of the Lord standing in the right side of the altar of incense. And when Zacharias saw him, he was troubled and fear fell upon him. And the angel said unto him, Fear not, Zacharias, for thy prayer is heard, and thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son, and they shall call him named John. And thou shalt have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice at his birth. And he shall be great in the sight of the Lord, and he shall drink neither wine nor strong drink. And he shall be filled with the Holy Ghost, even from his mother's womb. Keeps on talking about the Holy Ghost. A lot of people are not filled with the Holy Ghost. And many of the children of Israel shall be turned to the Lord their God. And he shall go before them in spirit and power of Elijah. And turn to the hearts of the fathers to the children. And the disobedient to the wisdom of the just. To make ready a people prepared for the Lord. And I'm prepared. And Zacharias said unto the angel, Therefore, whereby shall I know this? I am an old man, and my wife stricken in years. And the angel appeared unto him, and I am Gabriel that stand in the presence of God. And I am set to speak unto thee, to show thee great, great tidings. And behold, thou shalt be dumb, and not be able to speak, until the day these things shall be formed. Because thou believest not my words, which shall be fulfilled in the season. And the people waited for Zacharias. And marveled that he be tarried so long in the temple. And when it came out, he would speak unto them and perceive that he had been a vision in the temple. For he beckoned unto them and remained speechless. And it came to pass as soon as the days of the ministration was accomplished, he departed in his own house. And even after those days, his wife Elizabeth conceived and hid herself five months, saying, Thus saith the Lord, deal with me in the days where he looked on to me and take away my reproach among men. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God into the city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin in post in spouse to a man whose name was Joseph in the house of David and the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came unto her and said, Hail, thou hat, art highly favored and the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And he saw him, and he was troubled, his saying, and he cast her in his mind in manner of statulation that it should be solution, salutation that this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. And he shall be great and shall be the son of the highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. And all of his kingdom shall be no, no end. And then Mary said unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing that I know not a man? And the angel appeared and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee again, the Holy Ghost. 
and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore, that the holy thing shall be born of thee, shall be called the Son of God. And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she hath also conceived a son in her old age, and it was the sixth month with her, who was called barren. For with God nothing shall be impossible. And Mary said, Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to the word. And the angel departed from her. And, and Mary arose in these days, those days, and went into the hill country with haste into the city of Judea, and entered in, or Judah, and entered in the house of Zacharias, and saluted Elizabeth. And when it came to pass, when Elizabeth heard the statutation of Mary, the babe leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost. And she spake out with a loud voice, saying, Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. And whence this is to me, the mother of the Lord shall come to me. For lo, as soon as the voice of the statulation, or solution, salutation, sounded in mine ears, and the babe leaped in my womb for joy. And blessed is... She that believeth and shall be performance of those things which were told to her by the Lord. And Mary said, My soul does magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. And he hath regarded the low estate of the man-maiden. For behold, henceforth all generations shall be called me blessed. For he is mightily he is mighty, hath done to the great things, and holy is his name. And his mercy is one on them that fear him in the generation to generation. He has showed straightness with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down in the mighty of their seats and exalted them in the low degree. He hath filled the hungry with good things and the rich. He hath sent empty ways. He hath ho opened. his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy. He has spake to her fathers to Abraham for his seed forever, and Mary abode with her three months and returned to their own house. Now Elizabeth's full time came that she should be delivered, and she brought forth a son, and her neighbors and her cousins heard now that the Lord had showed a great mercy upon her and rejoiced with her. And it came to pass that in the eighth day they came to circumcise the child, and they called him Zacharias. After the name of the father, and his mother answered and said, Not so, but he shall be called John. And when they said unto her, There is none in the kindred that is called by that name. And when they made signs to his father, how he would have him called. And he asked for a writing table and wrote, saying, His name is John, and he marveled all. And the mouth was opened immediately, and his tongue loosened, and he spake, and he praised God. And the fear came from all that dwell among them, and all the sayings were noised about throughout the hill country of Judea. And they heard them laid up in their hearts, What manner of child shall be, with the hand of the Lord was with him. And his father Zacharias was filled with the Holy Ghost, and prophesied, prophesied, saying, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, and he hath visited and redeemed his people, and he hath raised up a horn of salvation. For us is the house of his servant David, for he spoke in the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. For we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. To perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant, the oath which he swore to our father Abraham, and he would grant unto us that we be delivered out of the hand of our enemies and we should serve him without fear his holiness and righteousness before him in all the days of our life. And thou, child, shall be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation to all of his people, to all of his people for the remission of their sins. Through tender mercy of our God, where be in the day spring from the high, hath, visioned, hath visited us to give light to them, that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death to guide our feet in the way of peace. And the child grew and waxed strong in spirit and was in the desert till the day of his showing into Israel. So I hope this finds you well. I'm going to say a small prayer and then I hope you have a happy Sunday. Dear God, our Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord God, for this day. I ask you, Lord God, to be with me this week, to guide me, to strengthen me, 
to give me the peace that passes all understanding. I pray for all the followers out there, whatever they need. If they need comfort in their time of sol sorrow, if they need healing in their bodies, if they need food or drink or a place to lay their head, I just ask you, Lord God, to hear their prayer. I pray for our world. We're in a world of times and troubles and i pray that you strengthen and guide us to give us the light to lead to the end of this age and into the the new age of jesus when he comes to return us to god the father and we're raised up in them last days and i thank you lord god for hearing my prayer i ask you to be with your people keep them strong keep them filled with your love and peace and guidance and anything they need they just trust you lord god i thank you father for hearing our prayer i ask you to to just listen to the prayer to heed the instruction that we ask you said if we believe in your name it shall be given and we just praise you lord god and we thank you father for this beautiful sunday that you've given us and we ask you lord god to just fill us with your love and your peace and your compassion for others because you said to love god and then love ours others and we thank you lord for everything that you do in jesus name amen